Hello and welcome to Kemsis Medicare tutorial. This one will have a look on a new show file which uh, I will use in some tutorials and which you can download um, from the Swedish Google Drive map. Uh, link is down below. So this is a training file. So I created it, created it with a lot of fixtures. So got beam spots and multi-element heads and so on. I also created some humans uh, or people. Uh, with a simple cylinder and a sphere uh, and it, it is a stage of the smaller kind so but that allows you to create some intimate looks um, so let's have a look on the different kinds of heads so I got dimmers for front and backlight and backlight looks really good in this visualizer especially uh, since the lights kind of breaks apart uh, when casting set shadows um, and also got left right and middle groups for each of those like that then we got sun strips and um, well I should note both the dimmers and the sun strips I put in up the gills on so I put the lean number nine on the dimmers and the 134 on the sunscreen to create a bit more you know golden look uh, you can change that if you want um, right so the sun strips are also in the independent mode you just scroll to the right like that i also put them in the independent mode in the uh, header file um, then we got some LED cans on a curved cross and then I got some you know ceiling lights uh, which I just found some sky panel color so you can change the color if you want uh, but th this is basically just for you know some I guess detail if you know when you you just want to Turn on your ceiling lights, I guess. Uh, they aren't really part of the stage rig, if you may. Then we got washes. K10. Uh, I think they are. I put them in. Let's see. So the range, uh, the parameters. So eight to five, 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 uh, fifty-five degrees of zoom. And then we got some new clay pack X quarter spots. I got so I got three in the back truss, uh, and which I put some positions on. Uh, so you know, backwash, uh, audience, blind middle and those that are in the front truss I made a position called background so this allows you to you know do some GoPro proje projections on the back wall and, and they are kind of right under the the curved truss so uh, you can create some really cool looks uh, from, uh, with that, so uh, so back in ma mainly these are mainly used for you know the background, but you can put them out in the audience as well. <sighs> then we got some beams, X core beam three hundred, uh, and I got some different positions: audience, spread, uh, front, dent, M. V X random one and random two, and I'm going to adjust some of those positions. I can do that now, actually. So I want to adjust oh, this one first. So you can see these outer outer uh, beams on the floor. Uh, in my opinion, they are pointing 
a bit too much outward so I'm just gonna select the fl floor and then shift single to select a pair and then I'm going to go to tilt and I'm gonna fan those inwards slightly so that looks better so I'm just gonna press uh, record record and then that was an update there that Uh, looks a bit better. Gonna do the same thing here but with the upper outer. So shift single fan, pan those inwards a bit. Yeah, that's all right, I think, I guess. Sure. And let's. Uh, this was fine. Now I'm gonna adjust these two so I could do a. Yes, segments. And the next head. And then that would take those inwards a bit. Bit better. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Right, and then perhaps these two, I'm not sure. So. Okay, so. Fine enough. So I also made a. Let's see. We could have a look at the. Okay, so for coloring, uh, um, I only had three. I created some layers over here. If you hold on Control, you can access all twelve of them. Uh, so on number three, which is also here. I so basically I used the color mixer to find some nice colors and then I recorded some light so got a lot of different uh, versions of green some of blue uh, and so on some brown color uh, and for layouts or views, I got so on layer one, I got a normal programmer palette view. On two, I got a queue stack and a timeline uh, for which I will use in my or when we cover tracking. Here is the extended color picker or color palettes. I put this uh, in a vertical, you know, fashion because then you know since the normal view is you know five by and then just draw down uh, well, i mean it's finally it's five uh, boxes wide you still have five boxes wide in, when putting them it uh, vertical so that's why i did that now if you hold on shift y while pressing any of these, you access four, five, and six. So, for layout four, I got a media and pixel map uh, window. For number five, I got a patch and a group window. So, this is useful when you know adjusting in the visualizer. So, then for instance, I created when putting out the you know the ceiling lights you know one simple thing is to create invisible trusses and then attach each and then fan out the trusses but I for this one I just created groups of four and then I selected each group and then I used the selected heads and then I 
just the positions. Um, if we lay out six, I got an extended group for creating those um, like subgroups. But I named that temporal, uh, like a temporary group, uh, I mean layout, layout, so it can be used for whatever. But, but still a quick access when shift layer 3, I guess. So I also got a re view reset, which resets all uh, to max, basically, instead of having to go to view and then max and whatever. Um, but I'm gonna adjust some of these because, uh, as, as you can see, some um, windows are still behind these. So, patch and group are in the forefront. So, I'm gonna close everything, patch and group. I'm gonna scroll up, up, and then I'm gonna re record that to number five. I'm gonna do the same for number six here. Well, let's see, yeah, so group, close everything, open the window, and then uh, like that. So, let's see, right, I got a quick save mac macro, so here. Uh, which I, I find it. I created it instead of you know having to go into setup, save show, return, and then wada wada. So it's a quick save, saves to it overwrites the show file. So um, well, let's see what now. Um, Right, I'm gonna adjust some groups. Uh, so I created this middle sunstrip group first, uh, and when you create or you know add more of the same type of fixture, they add to the old group. You know, they keep on appending to the uh, old group. So the middle group is in, in you know the first group here. So, if I put on a quick dimmer chase, you can see that, okay, let's put 25 and 25. So it's, it begins in the middle and then goes to the other outside. So, and quickly, I'm quickly gonna solve that by pressing left, mid and right, and then record that. So now we can see that the heads that are in the left group uh, are, in the, you know, they are first in the selection of the old group here. And I'm also gonna adjust some uh, some grids here. Now they are fine actually. These are not. So I'm gonna adjust those. So I'm gonna put them so there's you know one pixel and uh, one pixel space bet between the starting pixels, if you know what I mean. They are kind of two pixels up. Each is two pixels up. So If I remember right or correctly, now a horizontal line looks much better than before. So I'm gonna create a, we'll say, an outer and inner inner groups uh, for the washes. There we go. 
now right and I'm also going to uh, for the for the spots uh, the lo locating uh, the iris is going to zero uh, I mean it's, it's going to zero which is open but if you move it uh, you can see that the values are it goes from you know narrow to open to next open so I'm just gonna edit the hill file to I'll show you so I'm gonna go to the channels Where's that? Oh, here are we. So, locate to 129. Save that. And now, when I locate those, when I, if I want to change the iris, they are smoothly going from max to to open to narrow, I guess. So, wide to narrow, or something. So then I, for instance, could put an iris shade um, which if I put it to minus uh, you won't get that snap from you know zero to yeah, from how it was before uh, I think I'm gonna quick save that I think that covers all from or all for now <sighs> for this tutorial. So yeah, I also got a I also p did a pixel map for the for these for the sun strips. Also got a. An intensity palette there uh, for the sun strips, and we're gonna experiment with this and do some very cool things uh, in a later tutorial. So, yeah, well, I guess that's it. This was basically just a quick, or I mean, a look on this uh, this show file, how it's laid up, uh, and doing some adjustments. Uh, As I, I, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.